Okay, I'm going. much bow yeah. until you get up to right the higher stuff where it's a little bit wider um, but I think that's the that's more of the idea there were just some spots where there were too many spots where the string was was not ringing yeah yeah I like to think of it as pizzicato that you're doing with the bow bum, 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 you're coming out of the string every time, so it's never not ringing. Yeah. So, well, like, I found the eighth note stroke works better, like, closer to the frog. Mm-hmm. 
but then we're right up on the balance. I want to be like out for the 16th. Mm -hmm. so, Isn't that the worst? Yeah. <laughs> so I think I, I was too far out on the on the eights. Yeah. Um, yes, I think you. I think you need a healthy compromise. But also, rather than frog and tip, think bridge and fingerboard. I think you can drive it closer to the bridge and get a little bit more projection with with less bow. Yeah. Just at, at half inch or an inch or so, not even. Just a little bit more edge on it. Try, try. Yeah, try try just the low B. Come off every stroke, so bum, 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 bum. When you had it going really well, your your stroke was involved kind of in your whole body. Yeah, there it is. You feel it, it yeah, starting to pop and come off. Yeah, it's the whole the whole body wiggles a little. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yep. Now move that. Over time, the eighth will start to go pum, pum, and every stroke will impact on the lead string. Yeah, and you'll never, you'll never be grounded in the string. It'll just be your kind of weight, and it's all sort of one long motion. Yeah. All right. Thanks. That helped a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got a couple of bel cantas on.